Okay, here's a video about um, why your ceiling fan won't rotate. Uh, the reason being is because this solenoid here had blew out. You can see where it completely could have caught a fire and caused a serious issue. It was mounted up inside, right up in there where you see the brown marks. It was mounted up in there. It blew out completely. So I took this out. Now I'm going to show you a way. This here costs way too much money, almost the cost of a ceiling fan altogether. But I took this out, went to a yard sale, bought a used ceiling fan, and got the same or similar solenoid out of that ceiling fan to replace to put in this one. It was already pre-mounted. That way it saves you time and everything. Um, from there, you just reinstall it right here it's reinstalled I took it out the old ceiling fan and reinstalled the new one in it's a little bit bigger a little stronger but yet the same power which is a 250 watt VAC whatever that means I don't know but I'm a jack of all trades so once you install that and you rehook it up make sure you get your wiring correct and then you'll be okay Re, you know position your wires so that they're not gonna be touching there's no power on so you got to be safe and secure. Just restrap and recover up your wires back. Put everything back flush in. And it's a simple five minute process. Okay, now this is the one that I actually bought at a yard sale. It's actually a pretty nice fan. It's brass and all, but I didn't feel like taking down the other one. And I took the piece out of, out of the uh, the old one which is that right there it's pretty rough and pretty burnt I took it out and took this one out it was mounted right here and I took it out put it into the one that's in the house so just letting you guys know that you know sometimes you can go to a yard sale oh and by the way I spent a total of two whole dollars for this ceiling fan which I didn't need it but they gave me all this crap that goes with it so $2 for this ceiling fan, which this piece would have cost me close to $30 in the store, or replace my ceiling fan for $150, which I wasn't going to do. So I bought that one for 2 bucks. and now we're getting ready to see if it works. See, basically all I'm doing is just trying to remount everything back up. You have to make sure everything is flush and line everything back up, put it back in together, tighten it up. If I can get it in the hole. Go down and up. Let's see. I can't get it in the hole. There you go. Okay, and basically once you get everything screwed back up in together, make sure you go back. Turn your power back on. And that way you can double check your work. If it's not correct, you'll know in a few minutes. <laughs> okay, I just turned the power back on. Let's see what we got here. Well, the light works. Now the most important part, does the fan come on? Oh, that's the other light. Receiving light. There we go. It's a success. Now all we got to do is put the dome back on and our switcher here. Hook my chain back up. That's it. Done deal. Ain't bad for two bucks. <laughs> all right, y'all take care. Swipe and invite or whatever y'all say in YouTube to help get it out. <laughs> okay, finishing up the repairs. What you do is mount your dome back up. Put your holder, your boat, and of course you have to line these up perfectly or you're going to be in trouble. Let's see, other than that, we're good to go. Alright, let's give her a whip again. Let's see what we got. Okay, that's running. That's on. The light is not coming on because I probably did something here. There we go. Turn your fan on high. Well, let's see what I did. Oh, 
it's off over here. But anyway, you get the picture. It's on. I gotta get them back in sync. <laughs>